Hey, what is going on guys? Knife Guy coming at you with another GTA 5 video. This one here guys, we've got a couple tips, tricks, features, things you may not have known as of the new update. We have received also the festive DLC, so it's finally here, 2017. Check out the videos I've already posted on the channel and the live streams guys. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and throw a subscribe down. Drop a like, check out my buddy's links down below. If you are looking for some Christmas merch, anything from the Knife Nation, there's also a link down there you guys too. Either way, let's get straight into the video guys. Alright guys, so first glitch we got lined up here is a pretty cool one. It does help out actually quite a bit at night time if it is dark out. So all it's going to want to do is make sure you have the scoob outfit on. It's going to allow you to keep a light on your chest everywhere you go so you don't have to necessarily have a flashlight. Even when you're shooting a gun, you'll still have the light. So as you can see, with the scoob outfit on, if you go into water, there will be a light on it. All you want to do is register as CEO. Once you're in CEO, go down to your outfits now. You want to go to one of the pre-selects, so either left or right on the D-pad, just to go to one of the options that will take the scoob outfit off. Once you have it off, you will notice that the light does stay on your chest and you can see it in the water still. Once you got that done guys, all you want to do is go ahead and swim over to the side. You want to make sure you get out of the water, but keep on the outfit that you have as a registered CEO. If you do take the outfit off, unfortunately it won't work, so keep on this outfit. You will see the light still on. Walk out of the water. Once you're far enough out of the water where your body's not in it at all, Go ahead and swap back now to your CEO, which is none. You will put it back on the scuba outfit. Now at this point guys, you can either take it off or you can swap back and put on any personally saved outfit and you will notice that the light does stay there. Unfortunately, nobody else will see it, but you will see it yourself. So if you are playing some jobs or missions, it will stay with you until you log off of GTA and turn the system off. So go ahead, mess around with it, use it to your advantage on select jobs or select missions where it's really dark out. Have fun with it guys, use this for some footage, or just see what you guys can come up with. Either way guys, let's get into the next glitch. Alright guys, so this one here is a pretty cool one. It does allow you to use the new Avengers, so the new pretty much mobile operation center in the sky. What it's going to allow you to do is jump on the back of it so you can get some pretty cool snapmatic shots, or you can actually get a vantage point for sniping. One thing though is it pretty much does allow you and you are going to be a sitting duck. So all you want to do is go ahead, pull up your interaction menu when you're sitting inside the Avenger, put it on autopilot mode. So activate that, jump out of it, bail out, and go ahead and grab an oppressor, airplane, helicopter, anything like that that you can get above the Avenger. Once you got that done, go ahead, shoot up above it, bail out. Once you bail out of it, you want to actually parachute down, land on top of the Avenger. Once you land on top of it guys, you can go ahead and mess around, you can walk around, you can shoot people, snipe them, but like I said, you are pretty much a sitting duck unfortunately. One thing you want to make sure as well is do not walk into the blades because you will kill yourself for it. One cool thing I did figure out too is that you can go ahead and actually shoot the blades, shoot the props on it. You'll take off the wings and pretty much the small little flaps on the front and back, but it will stay pretty much mobile up in the air. Unfortunately though, you cannot get back in it, so once you're out of it, you're pretty much stuck there guys, unfortunately. So go ahead and mess around with it, have some fun with your friends, go ahead and see how many people you can stock up on there, and let's, let's get on to the next one guys. Alright guys, so this one here is pretty much a little glitch that I just found when I was trying to locate one of my cars that was stuck in a wall somewhere. If you go ahead and go down to the airport and you go down to this small little staircase right near the right entrance to the airport, so when you're going towards it from the city, and jump up on the little banister, you will know it's pretty much like a similar style glitch to what an escalator would be. This is the closest thing we could find in GTA, it's just something to mess around with. Again, you can't really use it unless you want to get some footage or just show your friends guys. So this is pretty much a little escalator style glitch. Either way, let's get on to the next one. Alright guys, so next we got lined up, it's going to be showing you how you can get underneath the map using an old location that currently does look like it is unpatched again because it was patched a little while ago. So it's going to involve using the new Deluxe, so the new, I guess if you want to call it Back to the Future car, the DeLorean. Go ahead pull up the location, you see where we're at on the map right here, right where the garage door is. Go ahead and pull back as far as you can and you will actually go up into the building. Once you're up in here though, you will only go down so far. So once you hit a certain point of going down, you're pretty much going to stay consistent. So if you go too far, you can end up in the water and you'll spawn back up on land. If you don't go far enough, you may actually end up underneath water and drown yourself. So as you can see here guys, you can just mess around, drive one end of the map to the other. If you're looking to get away from somebody, it's a quick escape route. Or you can just troll your friends, get some footage and get some shoot footage. Alright guys, either way, let's get on to the next glitch.
Alright guys, so this one here is going to involve the new scuba gear. So this is the fun glitch, you can show all your friends. It's pretty much like having a small aquarium inside GTA, you can check your friends out. All you want to do is make sure you do have a BMX bike and you do have a fire truck. Have the scuba outfit on, so like I said, it will allow it to work a little bit better, but any outfit does work, it doesn't really matter. It's going to allow you to jump in water in a glitch location. So come down here, as you can see, right near Morris Mutual, the apartment's across the street from it. Have one of your friends pull up BMX bike against the wall, so against the little garage the fence, kick it up against the wall so it's leaning, then jump on it. You want to make sure you're in the same seat you don't so you don't kill your friend. Go ahead, back up, drive full speed, ram them as fast as you can and stay up against them. At one point you will notice that it does glitch them inside of it. Once they're inside, they will walk around or if they go far enough to the center of the little location, they'll actually start swimming around and glitch out in a water spot. The reason there's a water spot here is right above this location there is a pool so it seems that the pool all the way does drop down through the map right to this little garage here. So again guys, you can mess around, turn that little light glitch on, you can get the flippers glitch if you want to and if you haven't seen it, check out my last video on the channel with the do it glitches. But again guys, just another little video, a little location you can mess around with. You can shoot out as well which is pretty cool but stockpiling it and just checking your friends out looks hilarious. Either way guys, hope you enjoy it and let's get on to the next and final glitch. Like it was built to break off the handle Alright guys, so for the final glitch we got lined up here is for all my little grief for buddies. It's going to be showing you guys how you can get unlimited orbital cannons so you can keep killing people over and over and over again and it's completely free. So this one here guys, you want to go ahead, jump into a lobby, go over to your orbital cannon inside of your facility and all you want to do is go ahead and locate somebody you can actually kill yourself. So, what you want to do, pull up the air orbital cannon, you want to pay for the, either the 750 grand or the 500 grand, depending on which one you guys want to do. Like I said, it's free, so you will be immersed all this money, so you never have to worry about that. Once you got that done, you want to make sure now you locate the person you're looking for. So in this case, we were going after shark attack, which figured to be fun to do. So what you got to do, guys, is track them down. In this case, we do the auto tracking. Once you got them, go ahead. Like really. 